Hi everyone, this is Miss Kennedy from Lone Tree Elementary on our fifth grade squad. And I'm reviewing Math Chapter 4, Lesson 3 with you today. We did this earlier in our um, school season. And our topic is divide by a two-digit divisor. Our common core standard that we're attempting to master is number and operations of base 10, number 6. And we're trying to find whole number quotients with up to four-digit dividends and two-digit divisors. Our mathematical practices are marked with a blue arrow. And today we're using mathematical practice number one. I can solve problems without giving up. Number six, I can work carefully and check my work. Number seven, I can use what I already know to solve new problems. And number eight, I can solve problems by looking for rules and patterns. And that's the great thing about math is that we can use different strategies and ways that we know to solve problems. Let's take a look at Math in My World example. It's asking us to divide 836 by 76. It's using an estimation strategy to help us figure out what our answer could be close to. So we rounded 836 down to 800 and 76 up to 80, and we made it a powers of 10 scenario. 800 divided by 80, we can answer almost quickly because we know that's going to give us 10. 10 times 80 is 800. Now let's do the math. 836 divided by 76. I know that 8 will not divide 76 times. I like to put an X over the number that cannot be divided by. That reminds me that I need to put my answer over the next place value. So in this case, we're going to divide 83 by 76, which goes about one time. If we go any higher, it'll be too much. We need to use our skills that we already have and regroup. So now we have 13 minus 6 equals 7. And 7 minus 7 is 0. We're not going to write that down. That's going to be invisible. We're going to bring down the 6 from the 1's place. Now we're showing 76 divided by 76, which equals 1. 1 times 76 is 76. 76 minus 76 is 0. We use the inverse operation of multiplication to check our answer. The value of 11 is close to our estimation of 7. And so we did the estimation and we did the actual math. Let's do some more. On our guided practice, we're showing 176 divided by 16. Also using the estimation strategy, we rounded 176 to 180 and 16 to 20. This is going to give our estimation a higher value. However, our answer should still be close. Well, I know that uh, if I use powers of 10, 18 divided by 2 is 9. And since I'm dividing, I'm going to remove the zeros. So if I use the inverse operation multiplication, 20 times 9 should be, let me correct that, 20 times 9 should be 180. Let's check our math. So we can't divide 1 16 times. 17 divided by 16 is 1. 1 times 16 is 16. 17 minus 16 is 1. We bring down the 6 from the 1's place. Now we're dividing 16 divided by 16, which equals 1. 1 times 16 is 16, and there's no remainder. Our final answer is 11, and our estimation was 9, but we rounded a little bit higher, so it's actually within a pretty good range. 
for our answer. Our estimation and our actual answer are really close. Let's keep moving. This is the part where you would do independent practice. If you haven't already, you should have a pencil and a piece of paper so that you can do the problems along with the instruction. When I see a division problem, I like to put my division problems into what is known as the standard algorithm. And the standard algorithm looks like this. 809 is the dividend. That's inside the division house. 62 is at the door knocking. And our quotient is going to be on top of the house, which I call the roof. So I know that 8 cannot divide by 62. And I'm going to remind myself not to put a number up there because if I do, it's going to distort my answer. I can, however, put a number over top of the zero in the tens place, 80 divided by 62 is one. One times 62 is 62. Now we have 80 minus 62. We're gonna use what we already know about math and regroup. So 10 minus two is eight and seven minus six is one. We're also going to bring down the nine because we know 18 doesn't divide by 62. But what can I multiply by 62 to get the answer? We can use a guess. I'm guessing that 62 times 2 124 might not be high enough. 62 times 3. I know that 6 times 3 is 18. I should have started from the right side, but I knew I wasn't going to recruit. So it looks like I'm going to use 62 times 3. So I'm going to write the 3 over the 1's place. 3 times 62 is 186. Now I'm going to subtract 189 minus 186 gives me a remainder of 3. So our answer to 100, pardon me, 809 divided by 62 is 13, remainder 3. And we're going to stop right there. There's other strategies you can use to find out if this comes out without a remainder. But for 5th grade standard, you're going to stop right here. Can we clear the board? Then we'll move on to number three. Again, using standard algorithm, 925 divided by 42. Nine doesn't divide 42 times. I'm going to remind myself not to put a number here. When I get proficient or I feel like I've mastered that, I'm just going to skip that area all together and move to the next place value. So now I'm dividing 92 by 42. So I know that 4 times 2 is 8. So I'm going to try 2. 2 times 42 gives me 84. Now I have 92 minus 84. I'm going to use what I know about subtraction and regroup. Now I have 12 minus 4 equals 8. And I'm going to bring down the 5 from the 1's place. Now, I just figured out that 42 times 2 equals 84. And it's asking me to divide 85 by 42. So I'm going to put 2 again over top of the five in the ones place. Two times 42 is 84. And I have a remainder of one once I subtract four from five, which is one. My final answer is 22 remainder one. Once you've gone through all the numbers 
excuse me, in the divisor, use the last digit from the subtraction as your remainder. Finally, number four, let's set up our standard algorithm, 210 divided by 15. I know two is not divide 15 times. So I'm going to move over to the tens place. And 21 divided by 15 is going to be 1. Because I know 15 times 2, if I add 15 plus 15, that's 30. So 15 times 2 is 30. That's going to be too high. That's kind of how we have to play with numbers using division. Just multiply. So I could guess, so you're guessing what um, the value could be. So I'm going to use the regrouping strategy that I know. 11 minus 5 is 6. 6 can't divide by 15. We're going to bring down the 0. Let's see. 15 times 1 is 15. 15 times 2 is 30. 15, I can add that three times or do mental math. 15 times three in my head. Five times three is five. And carry over the one. Three times one is three plus one is four. That's 45. So 15 times four. Let's see what we get. I already know this is 20. Five times four is 20. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 2 gives me 6. So, 60. 4 times 15 equals 60, and look at that. We did not end up with a remainder that time. So our answer to 210 divided by 15 is 14. All right, friends, I hope you found this review helpful. And if you need extra practice, watch this video again. You can pause it and stop and work on these um, divisors, two-digit divisors. Practice on your own, of course, and log into iReady and complete any assignments that your teacher gave you on this topic or continue working on your iReady path. If you have any questions, please contact your teacher, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.